she looked for a place that is most neglected akatafuta mahali ambapo hakuna naye patambua where jesus feet were ama naye pataka mahali miguu ya yesu ilikuweko did you hear that je ulisikia the feet are on the ground miguu iko sakafuni the hand is up here mikono iko hapa juu she chose where the feet were akachagua miguuni she sat there akaketi pale she sat not on a chair si kwa kiti akaketi miguuni pa yesu she sat at the ground where the feet of jesus touched akaketi kwa sakafu mahali miguu ya yesu iliposimama because jesus is wonderful na kwa sababu yesu ni ajabu where the feet of jesus were mahali miguu yake ilikuweko the place became wonderful hapo mahali pakawa ajabu she sat at a place called wonderful akaketi mahali panapoitwa ajabu then kisha because of her nature kwa sababu ya tabia ama aina yake she began to cry akaanza kulia crying there analia pale was not for sorrow hakuwa kilia kwa sababu ya uzuni no, she was not sorrowful hakuwa na uzuni no hapana the things that bothered her through her lifetime mambo yaliyomsumbua maisha yake yote the corrupt mind akili iliyo na jisi the prostitution ule umalaya the dirty names majina chafu the bad life maisha mabaya she sat where the feet of the wonderful one touched akaketi mahali miguu ya aliye ajabu ilipogusa and all those evil things left her na mambo yote hayo maovu yakamwacha yakayeyuka the heaviness of her heart left uzito wa moyo wake ukawa mwepesi the unanswered questions found answers maswali yaliyokuwa hayana majibu akayapata majibu yake hopelessness that was taking her to hell kukosa tumaini ambapo kulikuwa kunampeleka kuzimu came late a little a little bit kukawa kumechelewa kidogo before she died kabla ya kufa she found jesus feet alipata miguu ya yesu hope came back tumani ikarudi living came back uzima ukamrudia Jesus did not lay hands on her Yesu hakumwekelea mikono She found where his feet were Alipata mahali miguu yake ilipokuwa That was where her wonders were Hapo ndipo maajabu yake yalipokuwa At the feet miguuni find his presence tafuta upate uwepo wake go there and stay nenda pale na uketi your past shameful life will never follow you again maisha yako ya aibu ya siku zilizopita hayatakufuata tena your failure will disappear kushindwa kwako kutaondoka your hopelessness will go kukosa tumaini kwako kutakuacha a new future will begin maisha mapya yataanza a place near him atafuta mahali karibu naye no one will find it for you hakuna atakaye kutafutia jokayo will only lead you there mzee atakuongoza tu kukuelekeza pale it is yours to find a place near him ni kazi yako wewe kupata mahali karibu naye and when you are there na ukifika pale even if he doesn't touch you hata kama hatakugusa jesus allowed his feet to be touched yesu aliruhusu miguu yake kuguswa by a very untouchable woman na mwanamke ambaye yeye hagusiki and things changed na mambo yakabadilika today leo hii 
Take your own wonder. Chukua maajabu yako. Take your wonder. Chukua ajabu yako. Take your miracle. Uchukue muujiza wako. Take something wonderful. Chukua kitu cha ajabu. If it happens that he chooses to touch you. Akichagua mwenyewe kukugusa. He does not have to say anything. Sio lazima aombe. He will just touch you. Atakugusa tu. And where that holy hand touches. Na mahali mkono huo mtakatifu unaogusa. The whole of that body will be changed. Mwili wote huo utabadilika. The mind will be changed. Akili itabadilika. The dreams will be changed. Ndoto zitabadilika. The plans will be changed. Mipango itabadilika. The future will be changed. Siku za usoni zitabadilika. The present will be changed. Wakati ulioko utabadilika. Your life will be changed. Maisha yako yatabadilika. Wherever he is, popote alipo, things can never be the same. Mambo hayabaki jinsi yalivyo. He came to a pool, akaja kwenye kisima where there was healing supernatural. Mahali kulikuweko na uponyaji wa kimiujiza. They used to bring cripples, the withered the helpless and lay them there walikuwa akiwaleta waliopofuka wasiokuwa na nguvu na wakawaacha pale because kwa sababu once an angel came mara malaika alikuja and touched the water na kayagusa yale maji the water had healing from heaven maji yakawa na uponyaji toka mbinguni and those that brought the cripples and the withered na wale waliowaleta wale mavu na waliopofuka they fought hard walipigana kwa nguvu because the rule was kwa sababu sheria ilikuwa kwamba anyone who goes there first atakayeingia pale mwanzo no matter how crippled or twisted or withered he was haijalishi shida yake ilikuwa ni nini he was healed alipata uponyaji so people ran with their sick people there kwa hivyo watu wakangangana wakakimbia na wagonjwa wao all right this morning aya asubuhi ya leo comes mr wonderful himself bwana ajabu mwenyewe anafika pale not wonderful waters sio maji ya ajabu he who made the waters yeye aliyeyaumba maji himself yeye mwenyewe not the wonders in the water sio maajabu yaliyo ndani ya maji but he himself lakini yeye mwenyewe mr wonderful bwana ajabu his name is wonderful jina lake ni ajabu he chose one man akamchagua mmoja he never asked a question wala hakuuliza swali lolote because even those who had brought him there were tired and gone kwa sababu hata waliokuwa akimleta pale walichoka na wakaondoka so this man kwa hivyo huyu mwanamume so those who came late aliona wale wanaokuja kuchelewa when the angel came malaika alipokuja their people took them there and they got healed watu wao wakawachuku waliokuja wakampata pale watu wao walikuja wakampata and he was left there wakapona wakaenda wakamwacha Jesus does not choose the most favored